With that approval to spend all that money on a study, the bidding process now begins. But exactly how will that review be done and what will they be looking at? To find out, we went to someone who's consulted law enforcement agencies around the country. Our Dave Delosier has more in the News Center. Dave? Yeah, Eric, at issue through all of this is how extensive and how expensive this review needs to be. Police reviews are not uncommon, but the cost can range from the tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Which I've uh, consulted agencies on a wide variety of police training and use of force. A police officer for 18 years and a consultant to law enforcement agencies for the last six years, Brian Landers is very familiar with the training policies and practices of the Madison Police. Madison is uh, a, a place that I, I always use as kind of how do we do it right. And what is your name? He points to the efforts of the Madison Police to advance crisis intervention training in the state. They are now the ones training law enforcement officers from around the state. But Landers agrees that every agency agency can benefit from a review. I think every agency can get better to a certain degree. I, I don't appreciate the somehow the correlation of using the University of Cincinnati Police Department incident or incidents to Madison. I think that's very unfair. Multiple incidents of use of excessive force, including the fatal shooting by a University of Cincinnati police officer, led to a top to bottom review of the agency. Landers rejects any comparison of that to the Madison police. They have um, uh, a study of this, uh, this size, a $400,000 study, to me would be an agency in crisis, and this is definitely not an agency in crisis. He believes a review of Madison's training, policies, and procedures could be done for less than $50,000. And beyond the money, he is concerned about the message this sends to the officers on the street. We already have, in, in the state of Wisconsin, a, a severe shortage of qualified, uh, good police officers. And you know, I believe you're going to see droves of Madison police officers leaving the city of Madison to go take positions with other communities. Now, in addition to owning a law enforcement consulting firm, Brian Landers is also the mayor of Wisconsin Dells. He believes the review of the Madison Police Department will yield some suggestions for improvements, but overall show a model agency. Interesting perspective there from him. Dave Delosier, our news center. Dave, thanks. You bet.